Hey everyone, Matt from MKRC. In today's video, I'm going to be upgrading my SCX24 crawler project with a new body and frame from SKP Engineering, so stick around. So here is my very upgraded SCX24 Chevy C10. And today the plan is to get this thing off of its current frame and get it installed onto this new SKP Engineering body frame combo. Another part that I ordered were some high clearance links, just in case I needed them. And then the kit also comes with some different hoods and roofs, in case you want to switch those out. SKP Engineering has a YouTube channel called Cinemoto. Uh, I've watched the video on his channel a couple times to get an idea of how this process is supposed to go. One thing he mentions in his video is that you're going to need some other links and another drive shaft. Currently, the truck is a four link in the rear. You have one, two, three, four links. But in the front, it's one, two, and then three because the front link is actually tied together into one point at the front of the truck. I'm going to get this thing torn apart and we'll check back in shortly. I now have the front and rear axle and all the other drivetrain removed from the stock frame. The only thing left in place is the motor and transmission and some drive shafts, which I'll get to in a moment. I've got the rear end put together and I just noticed that the bottom links or the lower links are actually too short. And that is the point of having this kit here so that you can throw longer links on the rear and on the front to get your drive shaft in the right direction rather. I'm gonna pull off these two bottom links, extend them, and then the drive shaft angle should be correct on the rear. I've reached a stopping point for today. One thing to note when you're performing this upgrade is that you need two sets of these longer links for the suspension. You also need to order pillow balls or pivot balls because you don't have enough when you're going from a three link to a four link. I need a pivot ball in each of these little tiny links right here. Another thing to note is that when you're running the Furitec Lizard, you will have to switch the front part of the body from the stock setup, and you'll have to switch to a piece with a rounded cutout right here. And this rounded cutout is so the motor actually fits. And lastly, this piece. I have this lovely SKP Engineering lid but unfortunately it doesn't close all the way because the motor sits a bit too high. This piece has a slight protrusion and we're gonna get that popped into place. I now have the new lid installed here and it has just enough clearance for the motor, which is great. Unfortunately, I won't be able to represent SKP Engineering all the time. Other things to note about this build is it is very tedious to work on SCX24s. Everything is pretty small um, and have some spare hardware ready to go. The heads of these fasteners like to strip out very easily since it is quite hard to get your tool into the head of the fastener. Also, get some quality tools. Something from Weha might be a lot better than these Hobby Park drivers. That concludes part one of this SCX24 upgrade video. I hope you enjoyed. Next week, I intend to get the suspension all tied up and start fitting some of the electronics. So stick around for that. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share, and thanks for watching.